Hello friend, in this tutorial I will talk about microservice architecture. This tutorial is for the beginners who even don't know Spring Boot application and microservices. No worries, we will learn each and everything step by step. I will develop end-to-end -end application based on microservice architecture. So the agenda of this tutorial will be introduction of monolithic architecture and we'll talk about advantage and disadvantage of monolithic architecture. Then we'll discuss what is microservice architecture and its advantage and disadvantage. After that, we'll create a complete application in using a Spring Boot and a Spring Cloud, which will be based on the microservice architecture. In that, we'll create a Spring Boot application from scratch. So the beginners can understand how to create a simple application using a Spring Boot. There we will use a default database, H2 database, which comes with a Spring Boot. Then we'll create two different, uh, two separate microservices, course and a student using a Spring Boot. We'll create a service registry using Eureka server. We'll use Jewel proxy for the API gateway. We'll develop a config server. We'll create a circuit breaker and will create a distributed tracing using a Spring Cloud Sleuth and then we'll add a security on top of that. Okay, so let's start. So what is monolithic application? A monolithic application is built as a single and indivisible unit. Usually such a solution comprises a client side user interface, a server side application and a database. We design our application in various layers like presentation service and persistence and then deploy that whole code base as a single jar or file on the server. What is microservices? Microservices are small, independent, loosely coupled. Each service is a separate code base. Services can be deployed independently. Services are responsible for persisting their own data or external state. Services communicate with each other by using well-defined APIs. Services don't need to share the same technology stack, libraries, or framework. Firstly, all the services can be deployed and updated independently, which gives more flexibility. Secondly, a bug in one microservice has an impact only on a particular service and does not influence the entire application. Another advantage of the microservice approach is that each element can be scaled independently. So the entire process is most cost and time effective than with monolithic, where whole application has to be scaled even if there is no need in it. So here we'll see the architecture of monolithic. You see, in any applications, there are many features, okay? And if we develop all the features, all the business logic of a feature in one single code base and deploy, deploy it as a whole in one server, then this is known as a monolithic architecture. So here we are trying to write all our logics or our business logic in one single code base interacting with the database and then if we are deploying as a whole on a server then this is known as a monolithic architecture in microservice architecture what we do we separate the features from the application and and for each features we create a small service that small service is known as a microservice so each service can be written in a different language. There is uh, no need of writing all the microservices in a single, uh, a single language. We can use a different databases. So here you see microservice one is written on the Java and it has its own database. Microservice two is written on the .NET. Each microservice has its name, like MS underscore one. For microservice two, it is MS underscore two. So whenever we deploy a microservice, it gets registered itself to the service registry. So whenever we deploy microservice one, it registered on the service registry with its application name. MS underscore one is the application name for microservice one. Whenever we deploy microservice two, 
it will it it, uh, it register itself on the service registry with its application name like ms underscore two similarly ms underscore three for microservice three api gateway also register itself on the service registry so service registry is a place where all microservices gets registered so whenever there is a need of any any resource from the user interface user interface connect to api gateway through an url that url consists the application name of microservices meaning which microservice it wants to connect so what happens api gateway first try to talk to service registry with that application name like ms underscore one you see in in here in this url we have ms underscore one so with this ms underscore one api gateway will connect to service registry and ask that do you have the information of ms underscore one if service registry has it will say yes i have and it will return those information to api gateway then api gateway redirects this whole url to that particular service till now we understood what is microservice architecture and what is monolithic architecture let's understand with the help of a simple example of shopping application we all are aware of e-commerce website which has a multiple features for example user can search and view item then user can add those item to the cart then check out and billing order processing and finally shipping and delivery so when all these features are coded in a single code base and deployed as a single code base this is known as monolithic architecture and now we are deploying on a particular server okay as a whole then a client can call this server using rest api or some other method of course we can deploy the another instance of the same uh, same code base to another server for the load balancing purpose and then client can use that using rest apis but here is the catch whenever we want to deploy another instance we have to deploy as a whole okay but usually what happens sometimes not sometimes most of the times in this shopping application more load is on the search and view items user usually search and view item and then only it goes to add and cart but but there is no necessity that he will he will buy that item which is he is searching or viewing so usually it should happen like if there is a there is a more load on the search and view item only that feature should be uh, should be deployed in a multiple instance for the load balancing but in monolithic application it's not like that here you have to deploy as a whole the full code base let's see microservice architecture for the same shopping application in microservice architecture we consider each feature as a separate microservice so search and view item is a separate microservice and it will be deployed on its own server similarly add to cart will also be deployed on its on a different server checkout and billing will also be deployed on a different server and order processing as well as shipping and delivery will also be deployed on a server so you see based on its requirements we can configure the server configuration as well like ram storage and all now to connect from the client we require api gateway so api gateway will work as a middleware for all these services let's talk about advantage of monolithic application monolithic application has less cross-cutting concerns since whole application is developed in a single code base so we don't have to worry about externalized configuration logging health checkups and metrics it is easier to debug and testing simple to develop and simple to deploy it has disadvantages as well when it scales up it becomes too complicated to understand and manage harder to implement changes in large and complex application with highly tight coupling cannot scale component independently new technology barrier this is the biggest disadvantage of monolithic application that we have to follow the same technology from which it has started let's talk about advantage of microservice application microservice application has a small code base because microservice is for a small feature so the code will also be smaller 
and that requires a small focus teams mix of technologies this is the greatest advantage of microservice application that we can use a mix of technologies we, we can write one microservice in one language and another microservice in another language fault isolation scalability data isolation and agility any fault in a microservice application affects only a particular service and not the whole solution so all the changes and experiments are implemented with lower risk and fewer errors now let's discuss the disadvantages of microservice applications extra complexity since microservice architecture is a distributed system you have to choose and set up the connections between all the modules and databases cross cutting concerns you will have to deal with a number of cross cutting concerns like externalized configuration logging metrics health checkups and others testing since each microservice is a separate code base and deployed as separately so testing as a whole altogether little bit difficult in comparison to the monolithic architecture that's all guys for this video in next video i will create a spring boot application from scratch please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel click on bell button to get notification for upcoming videos thanks